I just have a couple of questions for you, because I don't think that there's any proof that your mother closed this account any more than I think there's any proof that you closed the account and forgot, perhaps, 10 years ago. Just for my own information, you went to school, you went to college. Mm -hmm. Who paid for your college? I did. Okay, did your parents help you at all? Not with college money. Um, I got some grant for school. I went to a community. I'm just asking you whether your parents helped you at all for college. Uh, no, ma'am. With living expenses or anything else? I'm just trying to understand what the family dynamic is that you would think that your mother purposely stole from you. Well, I wanted to move out around 17. I wanted to, I guess, emancipate or move out, and I, I couldn't. They told me that I had to graduate. Well, I graduated at 18, pretty much, within a few months. So you and I moved to, out immediately. Just, just a second. You wanted to emancipate when you were 17. Why? Um, I, felt, I just felt that I wasn't allowed to do a lot of things, and like I think what? I just wanted to... Like what? Things you do in high school, hang out with friends and go to activities and things. I felt like I was a little sheltered and I just wanted out. I was working, I had a vehicle, I wanted to, I wanted to live. I just, and so we weren't getting did along. You have, did you have a boyfriend? Yeah, probably, off and on. <laughs> well, I'm talking about when you were 17, 17 and 18. Yes. Now, when you left the house at 18, did you move into a place alone or with a boyfriend? Um, I moved in with a boyfriend in a roommate situation. Okay, fine. Miss Kane, I would love to be able to help you, but I don't have enough evidence to suggest that your mother closed this account and the account contained money, according to you, that was your money gathered from your work. Now, she doesn't have any recollection of closing the account. And you don't have any recollection of closing the account at a, probably a volatile time in your life. Yeah, I moved away and actually never came back to Crowley. I moved to Keller first and then on well, to but, some but other areas. Well, when you moved out when you turned 18, that was your plan. Mm -hmm. And it was your plan to move in with your boyfriend. I moved in with my grandmother for over a little, maybe a year or more before I moved in with him. But that was your plan to leave the house. Yes. And you did know that you had the CD when you turned 18. So when you turned 18, you became a legal owner of the account. You were, in fact, a legal owner of the account. You were no longer a minor. You were a legal owner. So when they say that the account was closed, then the bank says that the account was closed by a legal owner. I don't know who that is. And you can't prove that it was your mom. And only her name is on the closure document and not... Mine, and it says the amount and it says the date closed, and I was not even in town that date. Oh, it's just a short, her identification number is here. She may have been primary on the account. She may have been primary because you were a minor. Right, and I heard it stays that way. I'm learning things as I was researching through the bank. If you don't change it, does it not just stay as a minor situation, or, or unless you go and have the bank re... No, because they list your date of birth. They have your date of birth when you open up the CD. Anyway, Miss Kane, it's when I, what? Okay. I just wanted to add that um, her mother. You're her husband? Yes, ma'am. Go ahead. She says she doesn't remember a lot, but yet in her, some of her replies, she's indicating that, well, it's possible I took it out to help you and so-and-so, and, but uh, this, that. So it's very vivid, you know, wording as to someone with no memory.